to tell us how he invented this game of golf. Unless he has some scotch, so if there's any scotch flowing around here and we can get him a little bit, maybe we can get him to, uh, maybe we can get him out of his uh, shy state. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, when you're in Scotland, somebody says, hey, are you not going to open it? How are you doing? And pretty soon they give you a drink. Over here, the Americans roll off together and say, it's a how you So how are you doing? So how are you Well, be the damn Sahara to wait for a drink around here. But... <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> what I'd like to do here is uh, recreate the uh, day that uh, the inventor of golf first goes to the patent office, the Royal Patent Office in Scotland, and he's explaining his uh, this new brand new game of golf. I'm Jim, the patent clerk. <laughs> okay, well, uh, what can I do for you today? I invented a new game. I want to get it patented. <laughs> and <laughs> what do you call this game? I call it golf. Okay. And uh, how do you uh, how do you play this game? Well, you get a big stick and a couple of round little balls, and you got to bang them down, and they put a hole out there, and they got to go in the hole. You get a couple of shots and down in the hole. Okay, uh, so where do you get the, where do you get these balls, by the way? Well, that's a sad story. We hit the tent in front of everybody. You see it? Hey, got to get round little balls, and I can honestly tell you, in a 50 mile radius of my father's golf course, there wasn't a, there wasn't a safe male sheep around. <laughs> Uh, so you're, you're going to knock the ball in the hole, so this game is sort of like pool, right? Oh, could I just tougher than that? What's this? It's like, what game did you call it? Pool, you know, like pocket pool? Oh, could I show you pocket pool? Well, I don't even have the balls fed. Well, that's a, I'll tell you what, no, it's not like pool. You've got a bend stick. The stick is crooked. You've got to, you've got to bang the hell out of to get there, you know. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is sort of like uh, croquet? Oh, shit. They go around with a bunch of mallets, like a bunch of fools eating through a piece of wire. Christ, I put them so far out of sight you can hardly see them. <laughs> so uh, this is like a uh, this is like a long bowling lane. Bowling? Christ, there isn't anything smooth about it. Even the fairways aren't fair, for Christ's sake. It's not like bowling. You, you put them way out there, and you, the ball's got to go in the air. If you don't go in the air, it hit anything at all. <laughs> Okay, and uh, what else about this game? I mean, is it uh, is, is there any uh, easy part to it? Do you have, like, uh, something to shoot for out there? Uh, the only easy part of the game is if you stop between the nine holes and have a little taste. <laughs> <laughs> was my father. I invented this game. See, my father, he was a, he wanted to go to school. His father left him nothing money. And he went to school in Edinburgh, Scotland, to be a psychiatrist. Well, he gets the money, goes out and he buys a piece of land and he builds a nice place up there. And he gets no business. Nobody's coming. So I'm sitting there looking at the poor old butler sitting up there and I'm playing on the ground with this stick and this ball. And I go, Christ, I wish I could do something with this. <laughs> so sure enough, I invent the game of golf. People are going nuts playing it. My father's place is full. We don't call it a crazy house. We call it a golf academy now. <laughs> now uh, what is there, like a fire area up here that you uh, get to hit the ball to? Or... Uh... No, until you, you, you take the ball and you smack it, and you, you, you holler four, and the name four comes up because most people say, for Christ's sake, you almost hit me again. <laughs> what the hell was that for? <laughs> most people out there are liars, they don't tell the truth, everything is a four. 
they try to lie about everything. We cut the erasers off the pantry so they tell the truth, right? They made all kinds of markings. A guy get all nines, he'd sign his card upside down. We got all sixes out of this. Got a bunch of foxes out there. You know? It was so bad to make the cipher, they said, can I hire a Chinese man to come in and decipher? Mr. Ping, he went to golf himself. You hear Mr. Ping? That's Mr. Ping, he's in golf himself. We had the Titleist brothers there, and we also had the Callaway brothers getting balls for us and things like that. They were the sheep herders on the Oh, yeah, if you're going to make a whole lot of it, you put a flag in it. Oh, I said, why is guy? He thinks he's going to go inspect the bullet up to it. He's going to get that thing. We put bushes, we put water, we put all kinds of crazy things out there. And then you, you got to kill yourself to almost get there. And they got to swing. And here's that lion part of it. You see the water going to the woods, right? And he goes in there and you hear. He goes walking out, put out his head, little ball trickles out. How many strokes did you have? He said, I had two. I heard her say she's always killing a snake when I was in there. He asked, what your pack of lions they got you? It's terrible. And they often when he forgets, they try to tell you their scores. They even tried stuttering to get away with it. We had a guy walk up and he had a five in there. No, he had a five. I said, how much has he? I had a, let me count, one, two, two, two three, four. <laughs> I should have bounced off two twice. That should be a five. <laughs> so uh, if you want to get this straight now, you hit the ball out there oh, yeah, and uh, you may hit it in some sand, but the idea is to hit it in a hole that's hundreds of uh, yards away. And when you go through all this frustration, uh, you do that once and then the game is over, right? Oh no, my dad found out that just at 17 holes, the people are just starting to go around the bend. They're starting to get a little bit on the cookie, you know. So I says, Dad, I says, you know, if you split it in half, you do nine and nine. And that way you'd have 18 holes, and when they're all done, you can throw a net over them. they go cuckoo. And I says, and I watch golf progress. You know, these people are going, oh, I'm not split up. I see them now. The guy wins a trophy these days. They give him a million dollars, they shake his hand. And they give him a great big trophy, and they put a green jacket on him. And my father's place, we put a straight jacket on him. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any, uh, anything else you'd like to add to this uh, game, uh, Mr. Nick uh, <laughs> No, on the way over, I was going to stop and see my sister, you know. I was starting to get into this thing about people who make them believe they don't know, and you give a daughter to remember. So I stopped to see my sister Mary. She's with her two old friends, old spinsters, and you living in the home, and I said, I'm going to just see her. No, she's having trouble here. So I walk in, hey, Mary, how you doing? She says, oh, that Marie and that Anna are driving me crazy. I said, what's going on? She says, you sit around here for a few minutes, you'll find out. And I said, here, Mary, oh, there we go, she says, here we go. Yes, what is it? What is it, Marie? Was I going up the stairs or down the stairs? <laughs> You're going up the stairs. Okay. I said, what do I mean? Uh, here, Mary. Oh, here goes Anne. Yes, Anne, what is it? Was I getting in the tub or out of the tub? She says, you're getting in the tub, man. Get in, you're taking a bath. Oh, good, thank you. She goes, thank God. Not with a nut like them. <laughs> Was that the front door or the back door? <laughs> Just a wee Duncan Doris, if all you gang along, there's a wee wifey waiting in the wee brick of dawn. And if you can take it's a perfect moon look next to me, all right, if you can. Love you all. Come on. Thank you. 